So in Jordan's honour, we're going to do date night dinner. Mm. So we he's, he's had a few of them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we talked to you before, and you suggested lamb rack, which is a great choice. Yeah. One of my um, favourites. So we just create this like easy, quick, tasty salad. So we've got the roasted lamb rack. We're going to dust it in some cumin, and we've got all these fantastic ingredients here: feta, olives, fresh herbs. It's going to be great. Right. This right. smells great, Matt. What's going on here? Right. So that smell, what you can smell now, is just the cumin seeds. So we just lightly toasted them in a dry pan, and then we're just going to crush them just in here. So Mel, if you want to do that, oh, yeah, I'd love might as well to. put you all to work. Oh, jeez, oh, okay, we have to do some muscles. work. <laughs> right, and then we just made a, a yeah. quick yogurt sauce here, so it's just a bit of yogurt, uh, lemon juice, a little bit of sugar, and some fresh mint, you know, that'll give us a great freshness on the plate. So that's does, great. That smells incredible, just that simple yeah. combination, doesn't it? it? It's so simple. Smell? Yeah, smell I mean, all those, all those aromas will come out. Right, Jordan, time yeah. to work. <laughs> okay. you, you can make a dressing, and I'll show you how easy this is to do. Right, so we've got some sherry vinegar here. Um, and then we just need some olive oil. So you need one part sherry vinegar, two parts olive oil. This is the most work I've seen them do for ages. <laughs> <laughs> Normally you're doing all for me. Right, you need a little bit of sugar just to balance that acidity out. How much is a little bit? Is that sugar oh, just or salt? A bit of no, just that's a sugar. Pinch. Yeah, just a pinch. A little bit more. <laughs> oh, look, this is the way to And then give it, a, give it a good whisk together. And then you need to try it. You just want to balance it. Mm. And then just to get extra oh, flavour in there. You are getting it everywhere. Yeah. God, you need to whisk it. That's it. That's, that's it. That's it. Am I done? I'm it's sort of it. no, it's good. It's good. Splattering everywhere. Oh, no, oh, I think I think he's done it before. <laughs> <laughs> right, that'll nice. do. Give it a little taste. Oh, that's important, isn't it? I always forget to do that. Actually. Mm, that's not too bad. You want to Beautiful. Give it a go? No, no, no. Oh, just you. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Just take it on my dress. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, that is nice. Right, and to get some extra flavour in there, we're just going to put a little bit of fresh thyme in and just crush some garlic cloves, and then that'll just infuse. So you can leave that in for a couple of hours, take it out, keep the dressing in the fridge, and then just use it when you want. How long would it last for? Oh, a good week in the fridge. Okay. That's fine. Right, and then the lamb. So yeah, this beautiful lamb rack here. Oh, I can smell it. It's oh. just amazing. So we're just on a medium heat, a little bit of oil in the pan, and we're just starting to render this fat now. So that's what you can smell that. You've got that roasted sort of lamb flavour. <laughs> so I just admitted that I love the smell of fat. Is that what I just did? <laughs> yeah. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. What, is rendering, what does rendering mean? What does that actually do? So basically, you're taking some of that fat out. So it's melting. Mm. Um, you're getting the fat nice and crispy as well. So that's going to give us heaps of flavour. So when we eat this, it's going to be like a roast mm. lamb dinner. Oh. Oh, man, that's ordering. So, nice colour on there, and we're just going to seal it off on the other sides, and then we're going to pop it in a hot oven. So, basically, about 190, 200 degrees for about 12, 15 minutes, depending okay. on size. And the most important thing about lamb is resting it. You know, if you don't rest the lamb, you get it unevenly cooked, and it just bleeds out onto the plate. I don't know if you've had that problem before. I have it all the time. So, that's an actual important step. I thought it was the thing you did when you just had a little bit of time at the end. No, no. You've, you've, got to you've always got to do that. Okay, yeah. good. Look, look at the look at you just had in his face then. I'm not eating your lamb. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, we're really looking forward to tasting this, and I'm sure our audience in the cafe is going to be tasting some too. Soon, this could be the perfect dinner date. And, uh, of course, Jordan, you're used to this. It's going to be fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think this will be uh, one of the best. Yeah. Put this one into your bag of tricks, Jordan. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to tasting this too. It looks delicious. Thanks, well, I've got the help of Jordan here, who's going to plate it all up. Right, so we've got all our salad ingredients and there's a recap on the screens at home for all the ingredients you need. Um, we just chop them all up, put them in a bowl and just lightly you want to dress it with that fantastic dressing what you did before. But you always need to stir it up. So stirring this up? Yeah, stir it up so it's all uh, emulsified together and then you can dress it two, two and a half spoons. Give it a stir. Let's give it a stir like yeah. that. Yeah, awesome. And then just drizzle it on, yeah? Yeah, just about two spoons. You don't want to over drizzle it. You don't want all the dressing leaking out on the plate. You just want it just enough to make it nice and shiny and taste good. So give that a light mix. And then we've got this beautiful lamb here. So this has been cooking in the oven for about eight to 10 minutes and it's been resting. The most important thing, about six minutes resting. And you can see just in the pan, so it's still nice and warm. I'm gonna pop it on the board and we're gonna slice it and it'll be beautiful and pink. And you'll notice because of the resting, when we slice it, it won't leak everywhere, which will help with the presentation. Mm. So you can see how juicy that is. Just going to season it with a little bit of salt and a little bit more of that toasted cumin just to bring out the flavours. And now we just need to make it look good on the plate. So if oh. you want to, if you want to do your magic, <laughs> carefully. Oh, enough there from the cheeses. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different approach. That's a different approach. Nice though. 
So, yeah, I, I, I like to mix it up a wee bit. <laughs> and it's just important with presentation, you know, we've got all those different ingredients there, which is going to make a fantastically tasty textured salad. And it's just nice to see all those ingredients, you know. Yeah. You don't want to just see all the tomatoes, you want it nice and mixed. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Cool. And then pretty I good. maybe TP it, maybe? Oh, good. I'll, I'll give the lamb to you. Well, I'll then. see what yeah. I can do. And height as well. Height on a dish looks great. We're looking like that. Whoa. Fantastic. Oh, that's there you go. <laughs> there. And then media. just a little bit of the yogurt sauce. Just around. Just give it a bit of freshness and richness to the dish. And there you go. Really simple. Definitely great for a second date, I reckon. Rightio, bring it over, boys. It smells incredible oh, and really? I'm starving. Me too. It smells amazing. And it looks fantastic, oh. huh? Doesn't it? Oh, look, at that. look at that. Nice work, Jordan. <laughs>